Yeah. I had a double here. Yesterday I had one right there. And today I got one right here. So yeah. There's the only two snares I got out right now. And uh, yeah. Just keeping the pot going. That's, that's what matters. Gosh. Just look at all the fleas. Yeah. Like I mentioned to someone before. You know. We never ever seen these on rabbits years ago. I'm not sure where the climate is warming or whatever. You, you see more of this stuff. In the shed here. Just uh, cleaning up a couple more rabbits. And somebody asked me, you know, uh, what kind of rabbits do we get here? And some people call them a snowshoe hare. Uh, some people call them snowshoe rabbits. And some people call them varian hares. Uh, and they get that name, snowshoe hare, because of their hind feet. Their hind feet is quite large. And it bears them up on the snow like a snowshoe would. And this is a hind foot of a snowshoe hare, rabbit, whatever you want to call it. But she's quite large when you hold up, you know, really, we get a lot of snow here and uh, really helps them to uh, bear up in the snow. Nope. No Merton there. <laughs> uh, today is November uh, 22nd. You we'll checking a few traps. Uh, so you halo around the moon again. Got some weather coming. Well, you know, uh, when you're out fishing, uh, this is not the kind of sky you want to see in the morning. Uh, an old saying, red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky at morning, sailors take warning. So, yeah, I say we got a little bit of weather coming. Yeah, when I started to pick this one, I tore the skin a nice bit, so I just skinned it right off. But just look at the beautiful breast in there, bird. Yeah, and so another feather set. Now, uh, I think there's another one here, so when I fire, I gotta watch and see the either other one fly up. because I fired this other one and they'll never move. One and another one flight up over right there. I think there's still one up right there. Then we got a little squirrel here. The three uh, blue scrapes I uh, picked off right there. I got another one down right there and another one flight up in the tree. And I also got a, a French hen, a rough grouse. And uh, I picked them off here now. I'm putting the feathers in the bag, save the feathers for uh, for my traps. And another part which flowed up there when I was picking that grouse, the, the rough grouse. I don't see him there, but he's up there somewhere. So I'll just leave him there until I get the birds picked. You know, once he calls down, he gets harder to pick. So uh, so I won't uh, shoot no more until I'm ready to to pick again. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't get a lot of rough grouse here. Uh, they're heavier bird and the flesh on these are white like a chicken uh, We don't get a whole lot, but I must say, you know, it seems like they've been uh, They've been increasing here in Labrador uh, last few years I'll Come down to pick up the other one and She's uh, right there And uh, I want it right there 
that one is feeding. And this one here is a little bit wild. So The other one flied over there, so I keep going. I almost think there's another one here besides this one too. And that one there never moved. So that's good. Gosh, look at that up there. <laughs> I'm not sure where we're all coming from. Coo! 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 Timber. Look at that. Another beautiful partridge. Spruce grouse. Oh my God, I thought I heard another one fly. I thought I heard one fly over that way. Yeah, and uh, I was going to mention as well, you know, I use 12 gauge a lot because uh, like sometimes in the fall of the year when I'm hunting, there still could be migratory birds around. So 12 gauge is good for that. And this time of year as well, you know, it could be walking along and, uh, you know, some parrot just could fly up, you know, so uh, uh, parmigan, little parmigan and stuff. So it's a good all around gun. Uh, yeah, instead of having to carry two or three guns, I can do it all with that one. Uh, I actually think now I'm going to downsize to a 20 gauge. Try to get a few more for my feather sets. You know, those feather sets work real good. You know, when a Martin comes along, he sees stuff like that. He'll spend more time in the area for sure. Look at that. I said, hold them up and get a picture. <laughs> and another one flies up. Look, see, look at that. I thought I heard one just now. Lock and load. This is why I like to uh, uh, take the 12 gauge. Uh, yeah, things happen fast, you know, sometimes with primary against. So bam, bam, bam. And what do we have here? Look at that. First Merton of the day. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely Martin. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, the Martins are uh, pretty uh, scarce in this area. I uh, got a few feather sets out now today. Uh, see, could uh, that turn things around? Uh, hopefully, we'll see a little improvement. But uh, they're pretty scarce all the same. So, wherever I get some Martin like this, I'm going to take the trap now. I'm not going to reset. They'll lighten the load for. Uh, when I pulls the trap and that probably won't be much longer in this area. It's one of my old boxes on the other side of the tree there. So I'll put a new stall box there. But no Merton. But I got another permican. Look at that beautiful permican right there. And uh, you know, at the lure, you know, uh, if the sense of smell don't lure the Merton to the trap, maybe he's uh, eyesight well. And you know, with these feathers here, maybe gray jays will come around here and squirrels and whatnot. And maybe that's what will get the, uh, uh, Merton's attention, but anyway, uh, Merton's so scarce in this area. We're gonna throw everything we got at him right now. Of course, we got to do the happy dance. Woohoo! Just got another French hen, and there's another one right there. Yeah, there's two more rough grouse.
yeah, a good mix of birds today. There's three rough grouse, uh, five uh, with parmigan, and I don't know, a dozen or so spruce grouse, I guess. It's the last of the feathers, and I got a box right there. And this is the only area that I actually got two traps. I got another one. It's gonna be kind of hard to see there. Uh, I can see it here with the. Oh, I can't see it on the screen. Uh, yeah, but anyway, this in right there. I see the spring in the trap there. So I'm not gonna put feathers to that one in there. And if I do get a Merton here, we'll just see which one uh which one we get the, the Merton out of, if at all. Uh yeah, just one Merton for the day. I'm gonna call it quits and uh get uh through the rest of them tomorrow. Uh an extra day wouldn't hurt this for sure. Uh yeah, pretty scarce in this area, so these traps won't be here much longer. Uh you know, uh, no point in wasting time here, moving to another area, and hopefully uh, we get a, a bit better sign.